Hey guys, today just quick video, peeping caddies, casted caddies, uh, nymph, larva, uh, in this case green, you can go for white yarn here, uh, you can also burn this end with the lighter, so you will make some kind of uh, head, uh, black head, uh, I'm not using this for the green, or when I'm making with a, with a white yarn, I'm, I'm going for the barnet head, and it looks nice. I'm going to tie this fly pretty heavy, and it's also a big, while uh, you can go for bigger. This one is size 10, but it's a long uh, hook, long shank hook. This one is Jimco 5263BL. Unfortunately, Jimco not continue this hook. Once again, they just making the bar bit version, but you can take a bar bit and uh, break the break the bar, or you can use uh, any other hook. But I suggest you to use uh, some with some uh, long shank like this one is uh, gold head and a tinsel for green partridge and I'm using here squirrel however you better going to match your local uh, own kit Cased caddies, so it uh, depends on a on a color and even the material. While when there are some small bright wood pieces or something like this, or on the other hand, uh, it's made uh, up from a from a sand with a big some kind of pebbles. It can be much uh, much uh, lighter than this. You can use. The dubbing. Uh, we will match the color. I suggest you the Harris mask, which have a lot of different colors on itself, from bright white to sometimes uh, even even al almost black if, if it's not bleached. I'm going for the squirrel. Uh, this one is a uh, I used. You can you can uh, take some. This is uh, not not the brown. Uh, but basically, you are going to match match the local caddies, and the size can vary from eight eight to to twelve, I say. Well, it's uh, the the shank is longer, so I will not go for bigger hook than eight. This this is a this is ten and it's one inch. So I will take the hook, Jimco fifty two sixty three, BL in this case, and the bead head, the gold nugget. Uh, 3.8 millimeters. You can go for tungsten, of course, and you can, which are more heavy, and you can go for different colors also, like the black one, the, the nickel, it's called nickel, black nickel. The thread, I choose the simple green olive, olive uni thread. A zero A zero uh, you can use six six zero six oh while the eight is thinner. Now first of all I will go to add some light here and I will go from and tie in the light uh, wire.
and I'm going to fish this in a deep uh, fast stream so I will make it really heavy and I'm fishing this as a check nymph so I usually have a floating line also so all the weight should be down on a, on a fly So I'm going there. I will leave the space here and I'm going back. So it will be a super heavy fly. This is one of the basic nymphs uh, I'm using and I know most of people using and they're been successful for many many big trouts and graylings fish love these flies and there are times in a year when they really focus on a case caddies on some worlds uh, for the tail or the uh, the, the, the the yeah the, the body of the Okay, uh, I'm going to use Unifloss, this one is a hot green uh, and I'm going to, because it's so pretty, uh, pretty thin, I'm going to use like 8, uh, yeah, will be like a 2, 2, 4, okay, I think 8. It is just fine. So four, four times. Tie this in. Yeah. And now once more. So we have a pretty, pretty nice yarn here. I'm going to trim it already and the length you can see this depends how you like it right we're going to pull like this so i can put here some varnish why not for legs I'm going to use partridge. Uh, I'm once again going to match the color. So I, I choose the, the dark one. This is dark here. And I'm not going for, for too much. Just bring something like this. I don't know. The, was, can the count be like 15 maybe tie this in I simply tie this on the one side here make it a bit longer than the green and then I will just spread it like this around uh, almost all <laughs> goes on this side so. Again. Okay. I think that's just fine. Maybe it's a little bit too much, but it's fine. I'll trim this, secure this, and we are going to tie in the tinsel. I didn't find now the right color exactly but kind of like this it's it's more going to a bit of blue but still uh, still nice nice green this one is a unimilar red green so I just take a small piece 
this one is a red green it's one of one side is a red and the other is green you can try red or you can try whatever you will try and it will probably work it will be enough big and enough heavy I'm going down we'll find the fish down there <coughs> sorry um, so this is the tinsel and we're going to apply dab in dab in a, I'm going to dab in a loop just a short loop like 10 to 12 centimeters that is pretty enough make a loop, secure it and I'm going with a thread all the way to front so once again I'm going to use the spine squirrel and um, I found my clipper uh, since last time so I will just this is the regular paper clip we're going to use Pretty, pretty big amount of, of uh, the dubbing. Just clip it, do this first, and trim it from a cut from a skin. Just like this, and we have it in our clip. I don't know if you can see this. The pencil is not in the right position. So it's fixed in, in there. I'm just going to take it a bit of out of the, the clipper so I can place this in a loop. And I'm going to put it in a loop and twist and twist. If you don't like the, the dark under fur, you can trim it shorter and leave it. I'm going to dab it pretty long here and then cut it on a, on a fly. Just shave the, shave the fly. So rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm, I'm removing some free furs here just like slightly slightly brush them up off uh, yeah I don't know if you can see this we made a pretty nice knot and we start to wrap in this around the body while you should brush the previous wrap back so we will not the tie down the the first previous first oh, come on okay and uh, back sounds like this yeah, and leave a, a bit space here in front while secure this trim rest of the loop secure it a bit more here and yeah I'm going to cut make a haircut and I'm going to use straight scissors, a big one here. Don't be too shy, just trim this long first. Don't cut your thread.
Okay. That's making sense. Oh, then so. Uh, I will just cut these. Oh, come on. Some of these first shorter here. Okay, now I'm going to wrap the, the tinsel, make sure the green one is on top, and just a few wraps here. Pretty tight, it's like four for the wall fly, it should be kind of trigger. No, it should not make the color of the fly. Just a bit. It's like this. And. Yeah. I can trim this on the first. I will brush the wall fly later. So, secure this. I'm going to put the drop of varnish here and we are almost done you can dab uh, the front part with different colors like you can try black or you can try um, red seals for uh, I had uh, yeah the, the green one like this today going for the same for for the squilla so just take a few first here apply down thread apply the dubbing and wrap it <clears throat> yep and secure you can you don't need to but you can put there some varnish just soak this in let it soak down. Now I'm about to trim the thread and I'm going to brush this fly a bit with uh, uh, this brush I made. And I'm going to trim this. Depends what you like and how your local caddies look but I want them cut them basically basically I'm finished uh, yeah. that's it Test caddies, peeping caddies, the green version, pretty, he pretty heavy fly, basically for me for Czech nymphin or French nymphin, but I'm not doing a lot of French nymphin. So, peeping caddies, green one. A must for trout fishing and grayling, grayling fishing. So, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, that's a peeping caddy size 10 corn nugget golden head. Uh, that's all.
Thank you for watching and good night. Bye.